In this video, we're gonna cover Sega Model 3 emulation on the Xbox Series X and S. Thanks to the introduction of Mesa, Sega Model 3 emulation is now possible on Xbox Series X and S. The current build of the Sega Model 3 emulator is pretty bare bones, only being a file browser. So while features are lacking, this is going to give you the ability to play Model 3 games, and it works really well. So let's go ahead and dive in. To get started with Sega Model 3 emulation on Xbox Series X and S, you are going to need an Xbox Series X or S console. This is not compatible with Xbox One systems, Series X and S only. And you need to be registered and activated for dev mode. So if you need help getting activated for dev mode on your Series X or S, my dev mode and RetroArch setup guide has you covered. I'm not gonna repeat those steps here, just to keep this video more brief for everyone who is already set up for dev mode. So link to this will be in the description below if you need it. The next thing you're gonna need is a properly formatted USB drive to house your Sega Model 3 games. So again, my dev mode setup video has you covered here, but there's also still standalone versions available if needed. So these two will be linked in my Xbox emulation playlist in the description below. But now go ahead and boot up your Xbox Series X and S and make sure it's connected to your network and on the dev mode home screen, because we're gonna download the Sega Model 3 emulator here from the Xbox dev store. So link to this page will be in the description below, but just scroll on down to the emulator section here and you'll find the Sega Model 3 emulator, Super Model 3, available here. So just click on the nice download button and tell it to download from here. Now, one of the cool things about the Super Model 3 emulator for Xbox Series X and S is that the dev actually created a separate build specifically for Logitech G920 racing wheels. So if for whatever reason this download button doesn't work or you wanna get that racing wheel version, you can just click on the download button and click on download from GitHub. And then if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see a couple of builds available. So just go ahead and grab the latest version. And again, if you want that G920 racing wheel version, you just grab the Sega Model 3 G920 version right here and grab the latest one. It is also worth noting that you could also check out all of the pre-configured controls for the available games on Model 3 on this page as well. So it is worth looking through and just seeing what everything is. And then the same thing for the Logitech G920 version. I really wish I could demo this for you all, but I do not have a Logitech G920. But now make note of your Xbox's remote IP address and get this typed into a web browser on a computer that is attached to the same network as your Xbox. Once you're loaded up into the Xbox device portal, again, if it gives you an error saying that a connection is unsafe, click on advanced, continue anyway, log in, then just go under my games and apps, click on the add button, and you could drag your Supermodel 3 emulator package into the little box here or click on choose file and then select it. Once selected, click on next and dependencies aren't needed for this one. So just go ahead and click on start to begin the install process. And once the install is complete, just click on done and we are finished with our Xbox device portal. Unless you want to add in that Logitech G920 build as well, then just install that one separately. Now over on our Xbox, we're going to make sure that our Model 3 emulators are set up as UWP games instead of apps. So go ahead and select it and press the view button, select button, back button, whatever you want to call it. Head down to view details and change the UWP type from app to game. And I always like to do a console restart here. You could do that if you want. And now that the Xbox is rebooted, just going to make sure that that save has taken effect. It sure has. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and get Model 3 games set up on our Xbox USB drive. So Sega Model 3 games use a MAME type of naming convention and format. So you'll find them in a zip format and inside just a bunch of different types of BIOS files and game program files. And there's two types of main formats you can use with the Super Model 3 emulator here. You can use non-merged sets or merged sets. So this is a folder of unmerged Super Model 3 games. And as you can see, there's just a lot of different variations for the different uh, either regions or versions of the game that came out. Or you can use merged sets where it combines all these into a single zip that contains all the regions and variations. So you can choose either one of these sets to use. 
both work within Supermodel 3. You might not be able to choose the specific region with a merged set that you might want to use. So I'm going to be using a merged set for today's video example just because it's a lot less files. But again, merged or non-merged work equally fine. But as you can see, the merge non-merge set is a good 700 megabytes or 800 megabytes bigger than the merge set. Now you are going to have to source these games yourself because as always, we do not provide illegal download links on this channel, but a simple Google search can really make your day. But regardless, once you've decided between merged or non-merged, you just need to add them to your Xbox's USB drive. So here's mine. I'm just going to add this Sega Model 3 games folder into my USB folder under games. You can put these wherever you want, just decide for yourself. And to kind of uh, keep the convention here, we're gonna rename this a little bit. There we go. Perfect. But once you have those games placed, you're ready to move back over to the Xbox. So just go ahead and get that USB drive moved over. Once your USB drive has been detected as a media drive, and if you haven't set it to a media drive, just select media and not games, we are ready to begin loading up the Model 3 emulator, so just go ahead and launch it on your Xbox. And as you can see, it is very bare bones. We just have an Xbox file browser here, so just navigate down to the USB icon, and now navigate to the directory where you have your Model 3 games. So here we go, Sega Model 3. And you can just select a game, and it will load right up, as long as the games are in a proper format. If they're not properly formatted, they aren't going to work. But as you can see, Daytona 2 here has loaded right up. And now we can just begin playing it. So here we are playing Sega Model 3 on an Xbox Series S. It's pretty cool. Everything is pre-configured for you, so the scaling is set to 1080p by default. All the controls are already mapped for every single game like I showed earlier. You can look at that GitHub page to see what all the mappings are. And overall, it's just a pretty streamlined experience outside of the lack of a proper GUI. But I've tested many of the Model 3 games so far, and outside of a couple of glitches here and there, like the experience again has been pretty solid. And since there really isn't a whole lot to talk about on this, like it's just pretty much load up a game and play it. Since this is arcade emulation, there is a test menu available for every single Model 3 game that lets you configure things like difficulty settings and other special things. And to access this on Xbox Series X and S, you just click down on both of your analog sticks to go into the test menu. Now, depending on the game, you can navigate the test menu using your A and Y buttons, and then you can press X to select something. So for example, input test, this lets you test all the buttons to see the mappings in game themselves. And this is really cool. You can see that the analog triggers here do give us analog acceleration on Daytona. You can see the different shifting options here with the right analog stick, steering with the left analog stick. But you can also navigate these menus using the left analog stick click to move down and then using the right analog stick click to go into menus for games that don't support the a, Y, and X method. So I don't believe that network stuff works yet on this current build of Supermodel 3, but you can still change things like difficulties. Game modes. And once you're done messing around with these menus, you can just head down to the exit and select it and it will reboot the game. But now anytime that you're ready to move on to a different game, since there's no in-game resets or anything like that, you just have to click on your Xbox Guide button and quit out of the Model 3 emulator, and then just relaunch it, and then go back down to your USB drive, select a new game. So again, really not much to really cover as far as Super Model 3 emulation goes, other than just enjoying the games. But again, performance has been pretty solid and everything I've been able to test so far. And the default to 1080p output has looked fantastic with only some minor glitching here and there. So that's what we're gonna call it for the current Sega Model 3 Super Model 3 emulator. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope it helps you get your Model 3 emulation up and running on your Xbox Series X and S.
But here at the end, just the usual favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads always coming your way, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, please check out that join button here on YouTube or that Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Every little bit helps and we are just super grateful to all of our current champs. Thank you so much as always for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.